Good morning, Internet. This is the Old Fat Dad. Today I have my first successful deer hunt on video. For those of you who do not appreciate hunting videos, now is the time to click away because there will be some hunting here. As we watch this fawn come out, and uh, I think there's going to be another doe and a fawn wandering around here. I'm going to talk about my setup really quick. I kind of just rigged up a um, shooting stand for myself. I'm sitting in a lawn chair <laughs> behind a uh, wooden pallet that I'm using to, to rest my rifle on. And um, I'm kind of looking down these uh, old um, rows of farming uh, cleared out area where there's a mix of grass and clover growing. And just a quick cutaway here, these are the two uh, rifles I'm using for deer hunting. Today you're looking at the uh, black one in back, it's a uh, 6.5 Creedmoor um, Browning X-Bolt. I couldn't get the camera positioned with me behind my little pallet there, so it's off to the side and I wish I could have zoomed in more, but I had to reach my hand way out to reach the camera and I was already super paranoid about uh, spooking the deer off seeing as how I really wasn't covered up at all I was just trying to stay as still as possible in the past when I've been walking around this area uh, I definitely have heard deer coming from like a mile away usually these guys are crashing through the underbrush and you know there's no mistaking the sound of them when they're coming through the woods but today uh, these guys totally took me by surprise that first fawn came out and uh, I didn't even notice her at first uh, she was so quiet and you know immediately my my poor little heart was was thumping out of my chest and the other um, two deer here that you see that came out also just like no sound at all not even a whisper of anything they just came walking out of those woods and and popped up like little ghosts on this particular day I had a tag to shoot a buck or a doe so um, I was kind of considering my options at this point those two fawns are, are pretty small and I wasn't really super interested in, in shooting either of them the doe is a, she's an okay size she's a little bit uh, skinny and small and she's probably taking care of those fawns a little bit I'm not sure actually any deer experts out there chime in here and let me know um, how how old do those fawns get before they're out of their mother's care because I would, I would hate to shoot a, a doe that was still taking care of fawns. As you can see old mama wanders off here in a second and um, I'm left just watching these two fawns and I'm thinking oh well I guess I just missed my opportunity for tonight I'll just uh, sit and watch these guys eat. It was pretty neat um, being so close and just watching them do their thing so uh, I wasn't too bummed. I actually get enough nerve up to, to reach over, I think, here in a couple seconds and zoom in a little bit so I can record what they're doing. So I had just sat back and relaxed, ready to watch these little deer do their thing, and look who pops out. There's Daddy. And all of a sudden, my heart's going again, and I'm thinking, holy crap, I'm going to have a chance. Now I know this is no monster buck and you other guys who've been hunting for years have probably passed this guy up, but uh, he's a pretty good sized deer for me, being the first one, and I think he's a six pointer and, and he's a good bit bigger than the uh, does and the fawns there, so I, I said I'm going to do it. Now he just kind of hides out behind that fawn for a while, doesn't give me a really good shot, so I'm going to speed it up here while he's moving around. and. I'm watching him through that scope and I've got tunnel vision like crazy. I don't even notice. I think there's a couple other deer who step out here from the uh, other direction. And this is my first deer I've ever gotten across here. So again, my heart's still going and I'm saying, please guy, just, just give me a shot. Give me a broadside. And he's not cooperating, not cooperating. And then all of a sudden I get my opportunity. He's going to turn here in one second and I say, all right, this is my chance. Do or die. <laughs> Bang. Flop. It's a beauty. I aimed for uh, the shoulder, and I didn't account for 
uh, my scope height and about 40 yards away but despite my miscalculation or bad aim I still managed to get a pretty good shot and drop that guy right in his tracks now for you uh, ballistics reloading nerds out there I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you which bullet I used and talk a little bit about that real quick before we wrap up this video this is a Hornady ELDX 143 grain bullet. I'm just using some reloaded brass from uh, some factory ammo that I shot previously. And it has uh, 41 and a half grains of IMR H4350 powder behind it. As always, thank you for watching and thank you for coming along on my first uh, successful deer hunt. I was really, really excited to get this little guy. Again, I know he's not super impressive, but uh, it was an awesome experience for me. If you enjoyed the content, please consider liking and subscribing. Hopefully there's going to be more successful hunts to come this year. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.